Hello and welcome, and today I want to show you how to downscale footage in Adobe Premiere. So basically downscaling footage means you might want to go from 4K resolution down to 1080. Um, you can do anything you want. You can even upscale using this method, though it's probably not advised because as you upscale your quality, the quality of the image has to, or sorry, the size of the image has to stretch larger, which means you're gonna it's gonna result in a lower quality image. So usually what I do, I film in 4K usually 99% of the time. For my YouTube videos, majority of them for videos just like this, I downscale them to 1080p, just so they're smaller and they're more than good enough resolution for YouTube. Obviously, if I'm shooting something more serious, I will leave it as 4K, um, but it does depend on the end product. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are. Got my little file here that I want to downgrade. We're using Adobe Premiere Pro CC. That's the Creative Cloud uh, edition, but um, it should be the same or pretty similar on most of the Premiere versions. So what we do is you're going to drag your file in as you usually would, import your media. That's going to import. And we drag our clip to the timeline down here. Now once it's in the timeline, you'll see that if we go to our sequence and sequence settings, this is in uh, 3840 by 2160, so it's 4K. So what you want to do here, if you want to downscale 4K to 1080, you type 1920 in the frame size, uh, horizontal, then vertical would be 1080. So that's, oops, 10, 1920 by 1080. Um, then change anything you need to. I always tick this box, maximum render quality and maximum bit depth. So if you want to do down to 720, you can do that. I think that's 1280 by 720. Um, whatever you type in here, your outputted result will shrink to or, or enlarge to. So that's the first step, then press OK. And now you, what you'll see is the image is way too big to fit in our 1080 window because it's a 4K clip. So what you want to do is just click on your clip down here. And you'll see here under motion, we click this little drop down. And there's two ways of doing this. One of them is you can click on motion and you can drag it wherever you like. But that's not always gonna work because you might wanna get your whole image in that space. So what you do then, under where scale is, just click there and type 50. So it'll be 50% of the size. And because 4K is, or the size we had is pretty much exactly double 1080, it will result in exactly half. Now that's down there because I moved it earlier. So let's just move the position back to where it was. Roughly there. So there you go, we've just downscaled our 4K 4K clip down to a 1080p uh, clip, and that's it there. So as I said, you can use this to enlarge clips, shrink clips, whatever you like. Um, what's really good about recording in 4K, my favorite thing is even if you're, if you're outputting a 1080p clip, which as I said, most of the time I am, you have four times the amount of room to grab an image from. So what you can do is if you know, you can reframe your image without losing any quality, um, which is really good. So let's just say for instance, for instance, I wanted to do that, we'll put the scale back up to 100. So now we're working with a 4K clip in a 1080 project and we wanna to go to motion and you can move that wherever you like. Oops, sorry, that's the bottom. So now we're just gonna, that's pretty much zoom in and crop that part of the window, just like that. And we haven't lost any quality because um, we've shrunk down. It's probably better quality actually because now we've got that many pixels shrunk down to 1080p. So that's really all. Um, I hope that helped. It's a very easy thing to do, but it's one of those things when you first start out, you might say, I don't know how to do this. I've got no idea. So I hope that helped. If it helped you, please subscribe, please like and comment. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, that's about all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.